bench in front of you today, you see a Starbo S T A B O X M five O eight two. This is a German radio. It's got some sort of German logo, which I'll put up on the screen, like the CB twenty seven eighty one. I don't know a lot about this. Um, this came in some bits that I brought. So let's power the thing on. It's got a massive on off switch on the front here. Ah, well it's lit up but there's no display here. The other controls have all got like green lights around them. So it would probably look quite good at night. But there's no light here. Um, now it's got volume. AM, FM. Mix and mod. I've no idea what all that, I mean obviously AM and FM but that doesn't seem to be moving. Then we've got FM, Q and Squelch. So you pull it out, FM, Q, push it in, Squelch, and then you've got RF gain. Looks like someone's had the knobs off. Um, and it is an 80 channel radio. Um, Don't know what frequencies is it does. We're going to have to look it up. I've got no information on this at all. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to look inside and see if there's an LED or something gone on the screen and also have a look what the board looks like. Um, on the back of the radio, let's just undo the leads. Uh, we've got a cell call switch, three pin power, S meter socket, extension speaker, and the Starbo Electronic GmbH and Co. serial sticker. Um, it's got security seals on that don't look broken. So that doesn't appear that anyone's ever been inside here. Now I'm going to have to just get a knife and cut those in the middle, hold on. I can be very careful here. Let's run a knife through there. And that one. Right, get a screwdriver, I'll get the lids off and uh, we'll open it up together and look inside. Right, screws are all off, let's have a look inside. Well, not a lot in there. So we've got FM deviation. Uh, signal meter, receive signal meter. Four watt, so that looks like power, and one watt. So, yeah, not looking too bad for adjustment wise. What all these coils do, I don't know. The only thing I think I can do is potentially move this one for 4 watts if we're not at 4 watts. Oh, well, then we've got, I don't know what we've got down here. Oh, mic gain, AMC, and squelch. FM deviation, which I've mentioned. That's it, by the looks of it. So, I can't see what final it's got in it. Oh, a 2078. Apart from that, everything in there looks pretty good. So let's uh, connect this up, put it into transmit and see what power it's doing. Oh, and also I want to have a look at those LEDs, however, there's two LEDs I can see there that don't seem to be working. It's unusual they're both not working. Um, so it may well be that I haven't got something turned on, I don't know. We'll just have a look. There's the layout of the board. So you've got the three at the front here, two here, the one here, and the two up here. And that's uh, signal meter, receive signal meter, FM deviation, power, 
uh, for 4 watts and 1 watt. Uh, mic gain, AMC, and squelch. Oh, it's a Uniden board, unusually. 1996. Oh, frequency here. So it's quite nicely laid out um, and identified. Right, so let's see if we can key this up, see what sort of output we've got. Got just over three watts. So now we know where the power is. If we key that up and we move this power one, there you go. We can bung that directly up to four. So that's bang on now. So that was easy enough to do. Now that's on channel 20. Let's try it all the way up at channel 80. And at 80, we've got four watts. And at channel one, we've got four watts. So we've got four watts across all of the frequencies. Now, I haven't got any sound. Oh, yes, I have. Can, excuse me, can you stop doing that? My helper's trying to help. Right, let's get... Uh, where's the volume there? Let's just get this on. Bit squelch. Right, we've definitely got a dirty volume control. But I can't see the volume control. I might have to pop the other lid off. Let's see if I can get at it from the other side. But I still can't see why we've got no LEDs. They're not coming on if I press the board. So it does look like they're blown. And I'm thinking it's these here, these little, little white stubby things. Uh, let me just check if we've got any power to them. Right, so the radio's on let's have a probe and see if we can find any power get into these nothing on that side seven volts that side eight volts that side nothing that side so both of them have got power but they don't seem to be working so let's just spin this back around a minute Yeah, it looks like they're both blown. Okay. Um, well, they seem easy enough to get at um, and remove, but I don't know what type of LEDs are in there. So we'll bear that in mind as a job to do. Um, I think we better check whether this radio is on frequency now. And then also we've got to work out the mic wiring as well. Now I already know that's the common because I checked it with my meter um, and the way I do that is you put on my continuity test if there's continuity you get a beep so you connect the negative probe to the negative probe of the power pack with the radio wired to it and then you touch each of the pins and the one that beeps that's the common i.e. the ground so we know that one's ground. Then what you do is you put your crocodile clip onto that one because you know that's the ground. And then you touch each of the others when the radio is on. And you've got receive, transmit and audio. Now this one, if I turn the squelch down, we know is receive that one is transmit so that means the one over there is audio so going round anti-clockwise we've got receive transmit audio so we've worked out the mic wiring now 
Um, the lights just randomly come on. I don't know what I've done. But it's now on. So... Yeah, I don't know. Oh, well, back on again now. <laughs> it's just bizarre. So yeah, that's good. Maybe it was a dodgy wire. I don't know. But, oh what? Well, working now. And you can see it goes all the way up. Sorry, it's upside down. Straight AC. So I'm also going to look up see if there's any mods available for this to open it up, but I'm not really sure. Ah, now AM's gone off, or uh, FM's gone off now. So it looks like channel 4, AM, uh, FM goes off, then you go AM. But I can go back to FM and AM, it's switchable. So maybe there's only a certain few channels that you're allowed to use AM on in Germany. Well, they are 4 to 16 it comes in again. Can't switch it off, but I can here. Yeah, so channel four to channel fifteen. Right, let's see what TX power be. Maybe that's the one watt. Yeah, it is. If we're going to transmit, then you can see we're doing one watt. I don't know whether I can turn that up anymore. Uh, let's see what we could get that up to. No, I can only max out at one watt on AM. So, back that down a tiny bit. Okay, so, so we're allowed one watt on AM on whatever those frequencies are and then the rest on FM at four watts. Right, I wanna check out the frequency. So I'm on channel one, going to TX. What do we get for that? Oh, you can see that there. 26965. Okay, let's go up to channel 40. I really should note these down actually. Hold on. Okay, we're on channel 40. Let's see what we get for that. 27405, so we got the mids, 1 to 40. So channel 41 is, oh, 27565. That's the lows, I think. I'll need to recheck that, see what frequency that was. What Was it 26 or 25? 26565. Right, now we're gonna do channel 80. And the frequency of that is 26955. 26955. QRZ, QRZ26, Charlie Tango, 2036, Unit 2036, United Kingdom, call. Impressive how you can do it that quick. Pretty impressive how you can do it that quick. Oh, and I've got a beep. And I've got a beep. QRZ DX26, Charlie Tango, 2036, UK, cool. QRZ DX26, Charlie Tango, 2036, UK, cool. 
Now, I don't know whether that's someone having a laugh with me or whether they're actually, that's a feature on this radio, I'm not sure. It's a bit weird. How would it do it so quick to play back? 2-6, Charlie Tango, 20-36, cool. Yeah, good evening, West Germany. You got uh, Charlie Tango, twenty thirty six, near London, standing by. London, station from hundred miles from Frankfurt, a home station, home station, and my home. This is our station from my home. Yes. Yeah, Roger, Roger, my friend. Um, you are signal. Um, Sieben Arct, your Santiago Sieben Arct, Radio Via, Radio Via, very good my friend, back to you. Yeah, we are located about uh, 50 kilometres east of the capital city of London. Back to you. My personal name is Mark, Mike Alpha Romeo Kilo. Roger, my friend, Hessen, 100%, 100%. Can you give me your operator name again, your operator name? Ah, Roger, Roger, 100%, my friend. Yeah, very, very good. Very good. Uh, lots of stations into United Kingdom tonight from one free division. Is The uh, frequency is very busy. Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, very, very good contact. Very good contact into United Kingdom today, my friend. This land, UK, immer in rain. Rain, rain, rain. <laughs> yeah, Roger. We also have rain, rain, rain in United Kingdom, Roger. Quite cool making a German contact on a German origin CB radio. It's got the little legal German stamp here, which I'll show you a picture of as well. I'm amazed with that. This has just been laying about. Brilliant. <laughs> 